If like us you enjoy using different coloured clear resin, you may have run into this problem before. Sometimes you might just have a piece that you want clear but it's not going to fit on your printer in one piece, leaving you with multiple pieces that really need to be one. And Milliput just isn't going to cut it when you need a colour matching transparent seam. Now a lot of you may have already started to move on to UV putty for the reason that it cures under UV light and therefore way quicker than having to wait hours for your Milliput to cure. But have you tried to colour a UV putty? We've used this process in the past for gap filling coloured resins and we're recently sent this putty from Funk Reel, so decided to put it to the test to fix these Momo parts. So after gluing them together there was this one spot with a gap that we didn't want to leave. So we grabbed our UV putty and put a little aside in a mixing pot. We then used the same colour resin dye that we used to mix into our clear resin and added a couple drops into the mixing pot. Now we actually tested both the syringe and the pot of UV putty and was quite surprised to see the textures were different. The syringe one was a bit softer so mixed with the UV putty nicer than the thicker one in the pot. However since we had them both mixed we used a bit of each depending on the gap size. Once mixed it can be applied smoothly across the seam. We used some cotton buds to clean up the excess in hopes to avoid any sanding after. It actually wiped down really smooth too. Now give it a cure under a UV light for a minute to two minutes and it will go solid when it is fully cured. It can be sanded down at this stage if you need. And this is what it looks like after that process. This is the first time using Funk Real Putty in particular, and as we have these parts needing the gap filled, we thought it would be a great little test for it. It's not as transparent as other ones we've used in the past, but it does the job of filling the gap in a far better colour match than something like Milliput. We've also seen people use this putty for creating new textures on their prints too, so maybe this will be our next test. I've dropped links below for the exact products we used in case you wanted to try them. Hope this can help, and as always, let us know if you try it out.